Hi, I'm Jenny. Welcome to the Unconventional Homestead. Tonight, I'm making spaghetti squash. Super easy in your Instant Pot. If you've never grown butternut, or excuse me, spaghetti squash or butternut, they're fairly easy to grow, according to Anthony, because I don't do much growing in the garden, but I do the fixing. This one we got in our Misfits order last week or the week before. I've already washed it because if you're going to be putting it into your Instant Pot and cooking, you do want to make sure that you wash it. So I've already washed it, dried it. The other thing that I'm going to do is just poke a few holes in it. This one's pretty tiny. Let's bring it down. So we're not gonna have to do much. I have my grapefruit spoon out because it's great to clean it out and get all of the, oh, this one isn't very hard. So I'm just going to do like three pokes. You just don't want it to explode. I'm going to keep the knife here though because um, we'll be cutting it to scoop it out. I have precariously my... Um, silicone um, rack for the Instapot. Put the lid on. Now, it's not, a lot of people say, well, it's gonna matter how big your, it doesn't, because what takes longer is, so if I had one twice this size, it's going to take longer to get up to pressure, but you cook it for the same amount of time, or you steam it, pressure cook it. So you're gonna do manual for, I do um, six minutes. You can do anywhere from five to seven minutes. I do six. And then I'm going and make sure that you're on no venting. Then I will let it natural release for at least seven minutes. And then I'll bring you back. While we're waiting for the spaghetti squash to natural release, we're going to get started on the pork sausage. So. Anthony and I prefer pork sausage, so I'm just browning it in a skillet. I have my hamburger chopper because that makes it nice, consistent pieces. I've brought up a jar of our spaghetti sauce, a quart. <coughs> I don't think we'll need a whole quart. But it's up here in case we do. So I'd love you for you to comment below. Have you ever uh, made spaghetti squash? And what's your favorite way? Have you ever made it in the instant pot? You can roast it in the oven. It's just, it's hard to cut. Um, but not so difficult that you can't do it. Um, but on summer days or, you know, late fall days, harvest days, it's much easier to turn on the Instant Pot than turn the oven on to 400 and roast it for 20 to 30 minutes. Um, but you can sure do that. It's not, it's not difficult by any means. And then also let me know, you know, do you like pork sausage or would you do hamburger or a meatless option? We put cheese on ours, definitely. There's not any oil. I don't want to wash it off, so I will just pour the sauce after these little bits get brown. I always like to make sure it is browned before or I pour the sauce in, because then it can go relatively quickly. Okay, so I have a plate. And I have a pair of tongs if I need them. And I have a clean kitchen towel. I'm gonna turn 
the Instapot off. I already, there was no um, steam to come out. Let me see if instead of, oh yeah, there we go. I'm gonna bring you over. So I'm letting, I poured, I did use the whole quart of that spaghetti sauce and it was a little bit liquidy. So I'm leaving the lid off of the fry pan to help that uh, moisture escape so it's not too watery for us. And I need the knife. And I'm just gonna use this kitchen towel and I'm gonna go the long way. Just be careful because steam is going to escape. Now up there where that stem is, I'm gonna cut off this way so that it's not too difficult for me to pull apart. It's not. Okay. And now I remembered why I had the tongs. Because it's much easier. And you're going to pull out a little bit of it, but I can tell it's a little bit um, dense, I'm going to say. Like you can see right here, like I don't want that. It smells good though. And I see one, seed. Anthony and I will just compost this. We'll probably have butternut next year grown in our compost bin. That's okay. It just becomes more compost or we can eat it. If they do grow. That would be kind of cool. Okay. Then, and that's what I'll do with the stem side. Then what I'll do, I'll get enough out for us for supper, and then I'll let these cool, and I have a dish out for me to take for lunch tomorrow, and I can always grab another one if we need to. But that way, I'm not having to totally clean it. Oh, I wish you guys could smell this. It just smells wonderful. Our spaghetti sauce is just yummy but it has definitely gotten thicker. We got some of that moisture out of there, so that's good. Let me show you that, what I was, yeah. Just that rich, dark red color. Okay. I don't know if you've ever seen spaghetti squash, but it sure looks like angel hair pasta. Now, what I like to do when putting these together, and I'm gonna leave the tongs here for when I do mine for lunch, is I like to put the cheese right there so it'll melt, because then it's just gooey gooey. This is just a, 
It's actually a mozzarella alternative. Violife. We get this one at Costco. I have some trouble with cheese, lactose, and um, dairy. And if we get organic cheese, I'm okay. But um, I got this stuff when I just was having trouble. And I really liked it. And it's actually really good. And the best thing I like it for is stuff like this. In enchiladas where it melts inside of this, it's just very, very creamy. Okay, I'm going to turn this off so I don't forget. And I just ladle it over. This is Anthony's. And I spread it out so it gets that cheese nice and melted. And I'll put just a little cheese on top. But you can do this however you like. Oh, I knew that was going to happen. We will leave it there. This is mine. We will put a little cheese on top. I'm going to move that. Comment below. I hope that you're going to try this, but let me know if you've ever had spaghetti squash and if you're going to try it. But until next time, make sure you're preserving your food.